The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 133. You get the Nasdaq down 9, S&P's up 5. Uh, Dow yesterday basically got out of this consolidation, got over the consolidation, and uh, we'll see uh, just how much uh, higher this baby can go. NASDAQ, like third straight day high, yeah. was that right? Big, big Russell time. new highs. Russell new high, Amazon. composite new high. Amazon new high, that's you true. got it so right across the board. Netflix too, why not? Who can? That's, that's Seriously, right. That's right? right. Gold contract, gold contracts flat. They slammed that again. That gold got up to thirteen oh seven today. Bottom line, they sold it down. Uh, Silva, Silva's got a nice bid. Silva, the third day in a row, Silva's got a nice bid. Up fifteen cents, sixteen dollars eighty five cents. Copper's been the number. So, so folks, copper is up another four pennies, three thirty. Uh, it looks like they got a nice shot squeeze going in the copper market. Uh, there was an article in Bloomberg today that one person owns 44% of the uh, supplies at the London um, storage. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty intense, man. He's sitting back having a nice cup of coffee oh, this morning. Oh, baby. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll, I'm sure we're going to be hearing about that. Yes. Uh, notes and bonds, bottom line, they want higher price. Uh, so this is going to be intriguing just watching the market in general because they're buying into the note and bond market again this morning. King dollar, King dollar down 189 ticks, 93,440. Uh, the bulls and bears are fighting over that uh, 93,440 uh, number. Yes. Um, Euro's at 118 to 1 U.S. dollar. Yen is at 109, almost 110 to 1 U.S. dollar. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think or swim. Don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, you want to understand options, strategies, upside down. You want to understand futures. Great program. Kevin and his team, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Get it right at TFNN. Of course, you can get it right at YouTube. At YouTube, just put TFNN on your phone in the search button. Hit subscribe. It's free. All the programs come right up. We got Amazon uh, over in Europe. They're going to uh, basically start uh, yeah, broadcasting the socket. And I, I think they've been calling uh, Kevin Hinks. We're going to start broadcasting rugby, too, I think. Oh, why not, man? Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, O'Brien family. Happy Thursday. Happy, Happy Thursday, Thursday, man. I think, you know, Am Amazon's going to be calling you, Kevin. They, they're going to want to start broadcasting your rugby games, man. I. Hey, I, I'm constantly searching channels looking for rugby games. And now you know what it is. You know what's nice? People now text me. Hey, rugby on NBC. They'll, that, they'll, they'll text me when, when they see something that comes on. You know what's cool? I mean, I played I'm hockey. Absolutely looking for it. Every I, that's a cool sport to watch, man. It's I've never played sport. rugby, but I could see yeah. it gaining more traction. Oh, for totally! Sure. It's a cool. It's yeah, a, it's an exciting sport. It's it, it's football, man. I mean, it, it's, oh, you know, it is. It's, it's, it's without it's, equipment. I know. Right? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you. You know, Kevin, Amazon is just. We know that they're a powerhouse, but I saw this this morning, and the first thing I really did think of because. Um, you know, because I know you play rugby, and Tommy and I, we love watching it, but you can't get it a lot of times. I says, no. man, I says, that, that's far a, between. Yeah, yeah, that's a natural for Amazon. Like, okay, man, you know, guess what? Bang! You know, everything's going to be on our tablets. It's pretty amazing, right? It really yeah, is. Exactly. I mean, you know what? Bottom line, Tom and Tommy, there's nowhere that Amazon won't go. Right. If they see my high margins or yep. they see a middleman, they are, they are at least looking at your business. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt. The man. content deal, it's pretty interesting. You know, we're talking about the Premier League. They're going to have a couple rounds starting in 2019. It almost feels like they're sneaking in. You know, they're, they're, yeah. they're, 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 they don't want to cause too many big waves of just signing a huge sports contract. So they're going to do two rounds of but Premier League soccer. I mean, one of the biggest sports in the world. So they're right. not sneaking in too, too far right. under the radar. All that is is eyeballs, right? Sure. Yes. They want eyeballs in the Amazon uh, universe, hoping that those eyeballs, oh, while you're here, 
Maybe I do a little shopping while I'm watching. That's right. They want they shopping, want everyone to right? be a Prime member, man. And then you just hang out right. and, and you're stuck in the ecosystem and you watch their content. I mean, we were talking about in the break coming on here, Kevin. It's going to be, you know, where, you know, when it comes Football Sundays, you're going to just open up your Prime app. You're going to open up your Netflix app. I mean, we're, we're, we're on the way to that type of... Um, and it's going to pick, right? Right. You're going to pick what game you want to watch. Do I want to watch Tampa Bay? Do I want to watch Chicago? Ex what? I what, agree. What game do I want to have on right now? They're all going to be there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Um, so so many changes. So it's 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 amazing, and it, and it, what it seems like I is that it's going so fast right now. It's it's almost accelerating. You know what I mean? As, yeah. as to what is really happening um, out there. Hey, so think of swim swim lessons today. The VIX. We got uh, <laughs> eleven handle, right? Yeah, like, eleven seventy-four. <laughs> there we go. Right, you, you gotta love You're it, man. Just having this discussion, Tom. I, you know, is that is that too low for where we are in this market? My answer. Someone just asked me that, and my answer was based on the calendar. Yeah. Right. Based on the action of this market coming out of payrolls number last Friday into this week that's very light on data. Right. You know, this market could run right into Tuesday where you come into, you've got a, the beginning of a Fed meeting, you've got Trump in Singapore, and you've got CPI out Tuesday morning. So up until then, you know, there may be little itty-bitty uh, micro stories that affect the market, but it looks like smooth sailing here. Yeah, and of course, you know, as you've already always taught us basically coming into the summer, the bottom line is that markets can flatten out in the summer, basically. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, Mondays and Fridays are, you know, almost, you know, like people are on vacation. Especially Fridays. Yeah. Especially Friday. Yeah. yeah, right. I mean, and what seems to be happening now is that it almost seems like Thursday afternoon, you know, people have been sure. basically split in the office. Yeah. You know? Exactly right. It's just what you can count on is just less eyes. Yes. On the overall market. You, you'll see lower volumes. You'll see moves that it moves and then runs out of gas. There, there, there's no real um, volume or breath behind moves. And guess what? That's indicative of the market. You just have to adjust the way you trade. You know, if, if you do it poorly, the market will teach you how to do it right by, by costing you money. Yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, you may have heard when I was just talking about copper. That's quite a, 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 is an amazing story on Bloomberg, folks, that, you know, this copper run, you know, of course, you know, you like the futures markets. I like the commodity markets, the same deal. And I love it when copper is running like that, okay, because it's like, okay, is that an indication that, you know, all the commodities are really going to start running? Sure. And then I saw this morning, could, I couldn't imagine that waking up in the morning if you ever shot copper and you realize that one, someone is buying all the physical copper. In the London storehouse, they they say they, one one client owns forty to forty four percent of it. It's like, oh my god, you know. Now is that client China? That's what everyone's going to be thinking, right? Sure. Uh, you know. Yeah, well, exactly, and that's a big tip, right? Yeah. If that if that client is China, you're talking a game changer. Yeah. If that client is someone less of a driver of the market and a driver of the demand of the market. Well, that could be another thing, right? That's, that's no, I agree. If, so what you're saying is that it depends. if it's a user of right. copper, that's a great indication. Just, if it's yeah. a trader, well, right. guess what? <laughs> right. and, yeah, that's like the exactly. shot squeeze that's going on in Tesla right now. That, I mean, the, the bottom line is that uh, it's, it's a big difference. Sure. You know? Yeah. And, and you know, that is, a, that is a discussion that everyone needs to have because right now they're at 3,500 cars, right? They're they're looking for 5,000 comments coming up. Uh, there's no doubt. We're going to find out if they hit it. We're going to find out. Folks, right here, 45 minutes from now, outstanding show. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Look forward to the show. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, active trading information that 
will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 107. You get the Nasdaq down seven, uh, down 27. S&Ps are up two. Let's go to our man Paul in Henderson, Nevada. What's going on, brother? What's happening, gentlemen? Good morning, guys. Morning, Paul. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you guys doing? Good. Doing good. good. You ready for a hockey game tonight or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's do or die. Those nights. That's right. It's do or die. Win or go home, wow. man. Win or go home. Intense. Or go fishing. I'll That's tell you right. That, man. That's right. Should be good. <laughs> um, hey, so Tom, I wanted to take a look at ZS and hope we, uh, you could give me a little Fibonacci lesson here. What are we looking at here? Z Scaler? Oh, okay. Operates a security as a security as. Well, operates as a security as a, as a service company. The company offers cloud-based internet security platform that provides web and mobile security. Okay. Um, so there's a twenty percent shot position. So they it's a got four point five billion dollar company. So okay. it, it just ooh, what, what's going on today? Hmm. Okay, so shorts are getting squeezed today, man. So um, here's what I was looking at from the high after the IPO down to the low on the Fibonacci, and um, it, it looks like this move today ran right into a uh, a one six one eight of the entire move. Okay. So I was looking to go short. So I actually started a small position right at the 1618. And I'm just curious, like, how you would look at this in terms of kind of what I just laid out. Okay. So let me do it this way first. I see, I, I see what you're so saying. just IPO'd 30, in yeah, March. 34 down to 24, right? That's what you're looking at. So you're looking at that first. I'd still be careful here. Um, because this, there's a couple different ways you can look at this. Now, when 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 I see a break topside like this, Paul, mm -hmm. what I do is I take the high, 
which is 34.83, right? And you take the low, which is let's say $25, right? So it's a nine, ten dollar range there. Yeah, kind of and then I add nine dollars onto the top of that, you know, which gets you forty three. But that's, actually, it hit forty two sixteen. So yeah. it hit it. It hit it. You know, I, that's just a ballpark that I that I've done for years. Um, you know, you get a twenty percent shot position, but whoever sold it up at forty two is making money right now. That's for sure. It's, I think they got probably was it an analyst upgrade today. Um, it looks like that's, numbers they some. said. Uh, so, oh, yeah, it might have been earnings. Yeah, I'm not sure. It showed up on the. Uh, yeah. Showed up this morning on the scan, you know, on the scanners for the gaps. And, yeah. Um, yeah. It was so, really interesting because it broke above that all-time high. Right. Too, so I was like, okay. Yeah, I mean, they beat across the board, man. Forty-nine million versus estimate about forty-six. They only lost two cents a share. Estimate was about eight cents a share. They just IPO'd, you know, two months ago. So coming in with numbers where you're making fifty million, you're barely losing money, um, and you're only public for for. You know, two months, that's that's probably a pretty good first quarter of, of public numbers. Yeah. And, you know, intraday, Paul, so this is just coming back to where it basically opened this morning. Yeah, that first opening. I mean, the, the way that, if, if you're already shot, I think the way to do this <coughs> is that you close, you day trade, and I'd close this one right here. You made a few bucks. And what you'd love to see is you'd love to see it pop up to, like, 40 bucks again. And then you could fire it off again intraday. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, and I wouldn't stay overnight with this, though, man, you know, because that could be just what, what has happened in this market. They're bidding up this market. And you know? it's not a small company. I mean, they're already valued at $4.5 billion. That's quite right. an IPO market. Right. It's, it's a legitimate company. They have $50 million in earnings in their first quarter, and they're not even losing money. That's great. You know, and normally when you're IPOing, you might be losing some money at yeah, the beginning so, of your right. venture. Um, they're not losing money. Yeah, you know, and they're they're gonna have about 185 million in revenue this year. They're looking for almost a quarter billion dollars next year, um, and this is intriguing too because they were saying that they were going to lose money. So this is a big number, meaning that they're they're basically yeah. coming into a positive because yeah. their projection out was that they were still going to lose money into 2019, and that's, yeah, they're that's, barely losing two cents a quarter right, right now, and right. maybe if they keep it up, they'll be positive by next quarter. Exactly. Yeah. Cooking, brother. These earnings, man, a lot of them have been beating pretty pretty good, huh? Yeah. It, you know, it's intriguing. I heard this this morning, too, uh, on Bloomberg. It's, it's a big number that, you know, the S&P is only up 2% this year, and the companies have been beating left and right, and it's yeah. like, okay, what's the problem? A lot of that was priced in, though. It was. Yeah. As in, right. It was priced right. for perfection coming in. Last yes. year's run was all right. geared up for it was. tax cuts, earnings, perfection. Yeah. And they've been nailing it, which is why we're still approaching those highs. All right. Cooking, brother. Yeah, so I okay. think, all right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, man. Way, man. Have Thanks, a great Paul. one. Have a safe one. Gas, natural gas. It is Thursday. Right? So it is 1023 in the morning. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform. Uh, we get our natural gas numbers every Thursday, 1030 a.m. Uh, the EIA publishes those inventory numbers. And so we got about six, no, six minutes until the numbers come out. We got the July contract up here. We're looking at natural gas. We're trading at 295.88. Quite a little acceleration in the last couple of hours, right? Right from 290 all the way to 298, man. That's, that's a big eight move. Eight pennies is a lot. Big that's move. $800 move. In, in the, the futures, futures contract, right. sure. Um, so let's take a look. We like to set up possible volatility trades. We're going to get the numbers in six minutes. We have the various spreads over here that we're looking at, commodity spreads. And I'm going to start things off with the 11 a.m. expirations, all right? Shortest time frame yep. expiration. And what's nice is we took a, a glimpse at these during the commercial break. So contract is trading just above 295. And what's nice is the 11 o'clock expirations, the 12 o'clock expirations, have 295 kind of as your pivot point. Right. So you can set up Which above. is really great. Yeah, because yeah. You, we're not going to be paying a lot of intrinsic value on either side, right? It's just going to be kind of a volatility trade just trying to pay as little as we can for premium, looking for a pop, bless you, Excuse me. in either direction. Uh, so pulling this up, now immediately what I'm seeing is, and sometimes, oh, bless you, get it out of there, there we go. So uh, the bid offer spread is a little wide on these 11 AMs, all right? Right now it's trading at 296, but the, Look at and you can put in, you can become the market, all right? right? But I want to get a trade off maybe. So, right. so you know, the most, the, the lowest priced offer right now is 298, and I'm not willing to pay 298 right. if the contract's at 296. So 
I'm going to jump right to the 12 o'clocks and see how these line up, all right? Now, it's right away, and this is where you just want to be used to these markets. That's yeah. why we go through it. You know, open a demo account so you can become familiar. Because the 11 AMs had 298 as the offer. Right. Well, we gain an extra hour, and we can get it at 297. Exactly. Okay? So that's and it was just 296 something. It's yeah, just flipped. So it's, yeah, so it's ticked up even, right? right? So this would be our bullish spread, 295 up to 315. This is going to be your bearish spread. 295 down to 275. We're going to be buying the bullish spread. We're going to be selling the bearish spread. And we're going to have about 12 ticks or $12 of intrinsic value on the positive side. Yeah. All right? And yeah, not a bad trade, right? And this is why I say we have $12 of intrinsic value. Well, guess what the difference is in the two contracts? The $12 of intrinsic value, and you're paying about $8 in premium over here. You're paying the same $8 in premium over here, yeah. except you're just not paying for that intrinsic value, which is why it's so nice when they line up close to that pivot point. You're not kidding. Um, so, and as we're speaking, it's climbing it's higher moving, coming yeah. into these news numbers. Uh, so recalibrating it again, this one gets a little bit more expensive. You still have about the $8 of premium in the out of the money bearish spread. So you're looking at about $29, 28, 29, call it with commissions, $30. Yep. Which represents three pennies that you would need away from 295 to become your break even. That's a that's a nice setup. Man. Yeah, especially when you just got the type of move we got. Yes. Right. And, right. And talk about oil's moving, gas yep. is moving. Um, so we'll come back. We get those numbers in three minutes from right now, and we'll see if we get three pennies of movement or not. And like we always say, you can make one side of that trade too. Yes. You know, you could just be an out of the money eight dollar trade. Let's right. See what happens. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's up 100. Nasdaq's down 34. S and P's are up flat. Action. Bring right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TF and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. 
Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, natural gas. Now, this is, uh, you talk about, uh, we had just brought up the Bloomberg estimate. It was 92 uh, BCF. Yeah. And and what's the number? 92 BCF. 92 BCF. Now, let's see, let's see what the market thinks about it. That's right. So, Bloomberg users on the ball. Yeah. And the market reacting pretty tamely as wow. it comes in right in expectation. That's crazy. Yeah. So, we're trading basically 296 when we set up this trade coming yeah. prior to the news we're trading at 296.15 on the news look at now, that we're less than a minute after the numbers right we might see some acceleration one way or the other and as we speak trading up a few ticks uh, that's unusual that we see no movement yeah i agree even when it comes in expectation wise right. Right. you see just some more volatility it doesn't wow. mean maybe just a spike higher and lower right, right. trying to find the, where that bid offer is gonna is gonna rest <laughs> that's amazing and as we say so ticking under 296 so if you had taken this trade you have value away from 295 right yeah. 295 becomes kind of your max loss there right. because you have a volatility trade where you have exposure to the upside exposure to the downside um so you don't want to see this navigate back to 295 you want to see it go one way or the other right um but as we speak accelerating a bit oh no, there we whoa. go give it okay. some time give it some time so yeah it's a, so what we're looking at folks is that they start driving it down and it's almost one of these deals that well it didn't move it didn't go up and so the market's probably looking and say okay well no one's buying it well I might as well sell it sure <laughs> sure you yeah. know if there's no demand but that this is really unusual that you don't get the movement at all but it, the, well it, we're past that already right yeah, now we have right, some movement right, yeah no right. we're down about a penny and a half approaching two pennies to the downside and um you know then the, you need two you need we need three pennies away from 295 for both of those way. trades now right. you know as i said coming towards the tail end of that segment though you can always trade one side of this and the yes. bearish side of this we, because it was out of the money, right. it's only going to be an $8 trade, which basically represents eight ticks. This ticks in one tenth of a penny. So basically, your break even on the bearish one became one penny under 295 if you had made that trade. Right. Which, I mean, you know, already we're half a penny, but you can see how with that little risk reward, if you get a move in your direction, you're directionally biased and you happen to be in the right direction, things can really accelerate. So we'll check back in. Nothing too dramatic. And just to jump back to the Bloomberg news, because I was curious how. Let's see. Uh, let's see the tables. There we go. Yeah. So where are we? Where 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 in the country are we, are we going? Right. Yeah. So this is going back each week, and then you have the East Midwest Mountain, and so pretty pretty even as in as in where the stockpiles are across. You know, 351. I think this is thousand in, uh, billion. Okay, figures are in billions cubic feet. BCFs. Yeah, 351 BCFs in the East. Midwest right there, you, you know. Um, yep, 341. Yeah, and I wonder if they get into the demand in here as well, because I like, no, not quite. Because it is interesting that as they come out with these numbers, the AIA, we do natural gas Thursdays, 1030. Wednesdays, we get oil. Yep. Um, there's a lot more contained than just that headline number, yes. which is the big number that always comes out. But they talk about whether it's where the demand is in the country, stockpiles. Yeah, we can, we can see that. So the build is coming up slow, because see the weekly net change? Yes. That's, you know... Uh, it's only this small numbers, 23, yeah. 26, 8 in the yeah. mountain region. And that's where you get the 92 billion cubic feet that yeah. the top line number is, and then, right? And then look at the, a year ago. With that, I wonder if that's the amount. Oh, that's probably the full amount. That is the full amount, and yeah. this is where we sit currently. That is our full okay. amount currently. All right, so five-year average, we're looking at 2.3. Yeah. So we're below that. Yeah, we're and we're eight. below that currently at okay. this time. Yeah, and just check back in since we'll see where this market is before we jump away from it. So just hanging at about 294.5. Oh, about this, a, this might get some action yeah. here. We're about two pennies below where we were trading at yeah. prior to that news. So drilling that swing point from this morning. And you would have until noon on these trades uh, before expiration. Wow. So, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's good. That's doesn't hey, look bad, actually. A little bit of volatility. Yeah. That's what you need. Just took just took a bit, bit to get underway. Yeah. Let's go to Tony and Wellesley. Tony, good morning. Tony, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Long time listener, you know? Uh, it's great to hear your voice, man. I'm doing good. I'm doing good up in Boston here. Good. Listen, I'm, I'm ready to hop in on the VIX. 
I usually use an instrument called Uncle Victor X-Ray Young, UVXY. Okay. What do you think? Let's take a look. So. This is uh, the ProShares UltraVix Short-Term Future uh, Exchange Traded Fund. Okay, so the this is one and a half times the performance of the uh, VIX Short-Term Futures Index. Right. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Well, I think it's oversold. It's you know it's VIX has an 11 handle this yeah. morning. I would agree that that's yeah. No, you know, and you get some. They're buying this right now. I mean. The way I trade this is that, yeah, it, coming into it today, um, I'm sorry. Oh, one more sneeze. <laughs> sorry about this. It's, um, uh, it's hanging there. I Go know. Ahead. It's <laughs> wicked. Um, but, yeah, I, what, I would, what I would do, um, Tony, is that if you got into it today, I wouldn't, I mean, if it goes with you all day, then, yeah, you could stay with it. But I think for day trade, you get some action here. Because it looks like okay. uh, even in, if we go over to the S and P's for a second, the 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 the, the S and P's are having a hard time holding price, and someone just basically sold into them. Yeah. You know, so right. this Sorry. is a, this is this is a nice entry point for where you are. Because if the market does give it up today, this will go. Uh, I think the you'd see people buying insurance very quickly because the the market's nervous. You know what I mean? The market keeps going up, oh. but the market is nervous. To relate things, so the Tuesday after Memorial Day weekend, right. which we're only talking about, what is that? Six Two weeks ago. Six, six trading days, though, to, yep. to really relate okay. it back. Dow was down almost 400 points. VIX spiked up to over 18. Right. Six trading days. Right. So I mean, yeah. we're 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 right next to where you know yeah. there was a lot of fear coming out of there. There was. Um, that's. Yeah, I don't think it's that. Uh, yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah May 29th. Yes, yeah. correct. 18.78. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it looks like it's eight trading days. Is that what it would be? Four plus, yeah, four plus four, eight trading days. Yeah. So we had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we have the four days of this week. But eight trading days since we were there, and then quite a slide down. But, man, so we just got above 12, okay, on that on the real yeah. mix. Yeah. I think you get some action there, Tony. Okay, you know, you know what's driving me to this, guys, is... Uh, this G7 meeting, I don't think it's going to be a happy festival over there, you know? <laughs> I think they're going to go after Trump, and uh, I don't think the market will like it when they smell the trade trade wars coming, you know? Just yeah, listen, the, the, there's no doubt that the if, in fact, we end up with a huge trade war, I think a lot of these, you know, middle-sized companies are going to get hurt um, very quickly. It seems that right now what's going on is that the market itself, like the, the, the dollar is fighting, you know, bulls and bears at this 93, 440 number. And what I really notice is that when the dollar starts going lower again, the market can't stand it. Okay. And that's really bizarre because where the dislocations can come in a huge way, if you look at some, if we look, if you go to Brazil, okay, if, you, if you're talking Turkey, if you're talking even Canada, these currencies are getting killed, man, in relationships to the yeah, dollar, you yeah. know? And that is a real problem for the world because it's a one-world market right Definitely. now. And if people are losing money hand over fist just on their currency, it's a problem, man. And that can roll, you know, markets very quickly, you know, so. That's right. Well, God bless you guys, and stay safe and stay healthy. Thanks so much, Thanks, Tony. Tony. And something is going on out here, folks, because the Nasdaq just took a a, a deep dive. Zoop. This this is a deep dive, man. I don't know what just came out here, but let me tell you something. These uh, we're down 62 right now in the composite, and that's when I did that update this morning. It's always dangerous when these chip stocks start leading down because when they start leading down, man, they seem to drag everyone down. Accelerate. Stay right there, Tommy, and I come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. 
or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 87. You get the Nasdaq down 55. S&Ps are off too. Let's just look at this. Uh, that's intriguing that that uh, Nasdaq uh, went down so quick. So the Nasdaq is down seven tenths of one percent. Uh, if you actually take a look at let me let me look at the cues for a second. That that move it was like a 40 point move oh, straight down, and the the cues did the same thing. So we went from 175 to 174.36, and Inside it, the Lamb Research is the culprit right here. Um, it's Lamb's like a down. Culprits, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamb's down 6.4%. Uh, uh, you got. Uh, Mercado Libre. Thank you. Mercado, say it again. Mercado Libre. Mercado Libre. Think of it. What's a Roman Cobra with a line? Cobra Libre. Oh, so, okay. Right there. Cool. Mercado Libre. Not to Mac tie it back to alcohol. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's down 4.7%. Vodafone's down 4.4%. AMAT's down 3.4%. Let's go to NVIDIA, NVDA. This is always a heads up. Um, it's not bad. It's down $3.50. Uh, $3 uh, but those, when those, uh, let's go to the SMHs in general. These chips, when they go south, man, look at the SMHs are staying up, though. Yeah. It's not up 16. Like it's just a lamb deal. Yeah. That's what and it looks I think like. we have a caller. Yeah, we have Mark from Massachusetts. Mark, good morning. What's going on, brother? Good morning, boys. How are you? How you doing, man? How's it going? We're doing fine. How are you guys? Good, good man. Good. So, yeah. Well, Tom, Tom and Tommy, I, I have a question. I usually trade the T-VIX. So my question is, the last caller had a had a question also on a different VIX. Yep. So how do you decide if you want to show, um, play the volatility? How do you decide which, which one to play? So let's see if uh, this one, well, this is two times. Yep. The one that Tony had called on is one and a half times. Uh, they're so both they're yeah. both trading the same deal. They're both trading off the short term futures uh, VIX. So it's this it's the same thing you are dealing with. Um, yeah, and just but it's the S and P 500 VIX short term futures. That's right. what the underlying is for right. each of them. Yeah. Um, so the the expense the expense ratio on this one is looking at like 1.650. The net asset value is 414, slightly under. Can you go UVXY? Yeah. 
we'll take a look at what um, what Tony was talking about as well. So expense ratio slightly less, just under a percent, and in terms of net asset value, kind of right pegged to it. Um, so in the UVXY mark, the net asset value on this is showing at 1041, and the nice. instrument is literally trading at 1041, whereas on the TVIX, the net asset value is showing about 20 cents off. Um, you know, net asset value, 426. Oh yeah. Versus 436, only 10 cents. All right, so so it's it's pretty marginal when this is moving. You know, it's up 13 cents alone today. But so the TVIX slightly further away from its net asset value, and the TVIX with a slightly higher expense ratio. Now these should be short-term trading vehicles, so the expense ratio really shouldn't right. tie into it too much. But, but the net asset value does. It does a little, and realistically, probably the biggest factor is going to be, do you want 1.5 times exposure or do you want 2 times exposure? Because that I see It is would be very interesting to put that on an uh, overlay chart to, to compare the two and, uh, and, you know, to do like a half month or a month, maybe even a, a one-month study on a day-by-day -day basis to see if they, if they really perform one and a half versus two or if they're... You know, I can... I can and what happens, I can do that, but it, even when I do it, it doesn't seem like you can really understand. Like, I'll do it right now just to... Sh show you the difference um, I'm just putting that chart back up but it's it's really it just doesn't show you much like I said, I'm gonna compare well, that, this that's what I'm wondering Tom I, I, I'm, I'm thinking you know do you really see maybe it's a penny or two difference you know uh, but on the overall trade if you if you're in and out of that on a daily basis as you're supposed to be you know does it make a difference that even if you held it for three or four or five days you know does still does it really make a difference in the overall thing I I would say it would just by the exposure difference. With, yeah, the, what the difference is is that the net asset value is important because what does happen, it can go right back to net asset value. And if it does, you're paying 10 cents more, the, more than you should be paying for the TV IX right now. The real question is, I'm, I'm not sure whether this likes to trade 10, 20 yeah, you know, cents above it on a continual basis, right? right. Now, I put it well, up on Tiger TV. You can see that the green line um, is the uh, UVXY. UVXY, and the white line is the TVIX. So they trade, you know, it looks, it looks like they're, they're trading together, that's for sure, you know. Which yeah. makes sense. Cause it, it was, you know, it was Tom from Plymouth who uh, who got me really interested in the TVX. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I have to I, I credit him for uh, for for being my guide on that one. He always trades the TVX whenever he calls, and yep. uh, so I got really interested in that. I I did a lot with the uh, with the SQQQ and the CQQQ and the. FAS and FAZs, but you know, um, he, he started talking about the T because he got my attention. So yeah, no, and I think you got action anyway, in this yeah. market here because when when you saw, we just saw that that Nasdaq went south so quick. It's like, oh wait, what's going on here? I mean, look at this chart over here, yeah. man. I, I mean. mean we were just up here at 72.30. We're now at 71.37. Yeah, we're almost 100 points from where we were trading at it's, overnight. Something's going on in this. And the Nas, listen, the Nasdaq has brought everything up. It, it and. You know, the NDX is falling apart right now. It's down 75. Okay, so so here's the question of the hour. How is gold reacting to that? It's not doing anything. Gold's yeah. still not doing anything, which is a mind blower. But guess what? That's the gold market. Um, you know, today the dollar index is struggling at this 93.440, and we'll see whether it fails. What I'm not digging right now, even inside the dollar index, is that even if it does come back inside today, the volume's so light, it's like, man, you know, that wouldn't be a breakdown with conviction. There's only 12,000 contracts. That's very light contract volume, you know. Um, you know, I well, like... I, I, I remember, Tom, a couple of months ago, you thought we, were, we would be on a commodity bull run, and that seems, mm. seems to have fizzled. Uh, I wouldn't say it fizzled. It hasn't done anything. Do you know what I mean? It's not like the, these equities have got killed, but the reality is, is that, yeah, they, every time that gold, it seems like every time gold even gets to 1305 now, they sell it off. Yes. You know what I mean? Pretty tight trading yeah. range, It is. Right? It is. So, well, you, talk, you talk about commodity trading. I got, I got one for you guys. Look at the Mexican peso against the dollar. Talk about something that's being spoke. 
S O, let's see, P E S O. Yeah, and this is having to do with the potential NAFTA talks coming in yesterday. That's, that's a whole NAFTA story. Nest, yesterday. Now Trump's saying that he, he he's going to have separate agreements with uh, right. Canada and Mexico. Separate agreement deal. He's taking off everyone at the field. Yeah, look at so, that. Could be interesting. Yeah. I'm sure that doesn't help the. Uh, that doesn't help the, uh, well, that just helps the DYF. That just helps the dollar index, you know. That just, uh, well, what, that just pushes that a little higher. It is, but it, what happens to the dollar index, it's all really about the euro and the yen. You know, the euro is 60, 60% of it. These currencies, you know, as I just said to a few minutes ago, a lot of the big currencies are getting killed. I mean, it's, it's serious business. It'd be serious business if we lived in those countries, you know. Brazil, which is a monster economy, um, they just lost you know, almost 20% of their value. Yeah. You know, and that I'm talking 20% of your value in a month. <laughs> it's crazy. Pretty intense. Cooking, brother. All right, cooking, guys. Have a Thanks great one, man. Have Take a safe care, man. One. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Uh, we'll uh, finish up with these uh, gas numbers. Uh, Dow right now is up 85. Nasdaq is down 55. S&Ps are off too. Come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, next on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 96. NASDAQ is down 55. S&Ps are uh, off two. Quite divergence in the market, man. We got the Dow up 100 points. We got the NASDAQ down 50. We got the S&Ps just hanging out, right? Yep. All right. The S&Ps are having the hottest, hottest time. It's really intriguing, no doubt. Let's check back in on natural gas one more time for the hour. So we're approaching the end of the 11 o'clock hour. And if we had made that volatility trade, we're almost at max pain, man. Right. 295. Um, but I think we get to noon, though. We right? do have till yeah. noon. Okay, That's right, so you'd have a full right. other hour, and you, you're getting some volatility, is and it's bouncing around a bit. Um, but anytime you're making that volatility trade, you want to see a miss in the numbers, right? right? You don't want to see a peg on the numbers. So if you were making this trade, you might have been looking for the opportunity to take any value, right? Because. Right. For instance, there's our bearish spread, all right? So when it ticks down to 294, maybe you take that opportunity to close out your bearish spread for value, right? Right. And then you wait for the bullish spread. Well, guess what? Now the bullish spread is back up there. Maybe you, you look to take some value off to there. break even. Right. We only put up about three pennies, as in, in the price yes. of the contract. You're looking at $30. So if you can get a penny and a half in either direction, you got your investment back. So that's where it's kind of cool that you can manage this trade. Um, you know, you get an initial spike one way or the other. You can always take it off. Uh, but the number came in right as expectation, and the market is okay with that, it right. seems. 295 is, is where we sit. We'll see. You would have that extra hour, so oh, you yeah. never know, man. Oil oil yesterday spiked down. Came all the way it's back. It's already back up to where yeah. we were after a 4 million barrel miss. Pretty amazing. It is. Pretty amazing. Let's go uh, inside that uh, MDX just before we leave again. I just want to see what it continues to basically put pressure on. Yeah, same stocks. Okay. Yeah. Um, Western Digital, that's getting hit too. So that's down three bucks. Big moves, man. Yeah, they are. Western big Digital, moves. $24 billion company. Big Oof. number. Stay right there, folks. We've got Swim Lessons coming up next. Then we get our man Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White. I'll be back. And of course, uh, Thursdays, uh, we got our man, Mr. Andy Hicks. You got it? Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.